You're listening to the Astromami newsletter read aloud version of my daily horoscope published on Substack. If you would like to read this, please click on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, here is the daily horoscope. Holding each other in love as we break away from our old skins. Daily horoscope for Wednesday, October 26, 2022. Welcome to the Astromommy Newsletter, a daily horoscope that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. The Astromommy Newsletter is a reader-supported publication, meaning it only thrives thanks to the generous support of lovely people just like you. Whether you're a first-time reader or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in my community. I hope you enjoyed today's horoscope and card reading. Blessings. Good morning, friends. I had weird dreams last night, and then I woke up with two songs in my head. Breakaway by Big Pig from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and the second one I will reveal at the end of the newsletter. But I feel that these two songs are really representative of my own feelings right now, and maybe others can relate to them as well. If you missed yesterday's newsletter, then you didn't hear my stupid news. The catalytic converter was stolen out of our truck the night before yesterday, and so we're in a bit of a pinch financially. So if you would like to book a reading or buy some items from the family Etsy shop or make a donation, now would be an amazing time. I also offer gift cards, and wouldn't that just make a really fun gift? A gift card for a natal chart reading, a mug, and an astrological pendant? Here are the links to the shop, my booking site, and my donations page. In the spirit of giving, if you make a purchase or donation of any kind or amount over the next two weeks, you will be automatically entered to win a free Zodiac pendant of your sun sign. This is only for my Substack community. I will announce the winner of this prize on the full moon on November 8th, 2022. If you have been enjoying the Daily Horoscope, we could really use the support right now. I really enjoy writing the newsletter and giving astrology readings, and I want to make this a viable business, but it has to make financial sense. I feel that this Mars retrograde in my first house is going to be a lot about that, how to make my business make financial sense so that it is a leg of support for my family. I am putting together another special report for the Mars retrograde in Gemini, horoscopes for all 12 signs for my paid subscribers, which will be coming out really soon. Mars goes retrograde at the end of October, so you can expect that report by the end of the month. If you liked the special eclipse report, then you will enjoy this one too. Make sure you upgrade your account so that you don't miss it. Okay, let's get into the astrology. Today could feel really weird. We just had the eclipse yesterday and it could feel like we are waiting at the top of the lift hill of the roller coaster. It feels a little bit like we're holding our breath right before the brake releases and our passenger car goes flying down the first hill. We may also feel vulnerable and exposed, like an easy target for a big bird to grab and fly away with. So there's a feeling of needing to be hyper aware of our surroundings today. The moon in Scorpio today will break out of the Via Combusta, the burnt path from 15 degrees of Libra to 15 degrees of Scorpio. She will have now broken away from that tumultuous part of the heavens and is embarking on her individuation from the light of the sun. We can't see her yet, but we soon will be able to see her beautiful crescent emerge on the western horizon after sunset in a day or two. The moon is also making an opposition to Uranus early this morning, so there could be a feeling of some sort of shock that has happened over the last day or so that has opened your eyes to some things that may not be pleasant realities. You may be feeling some type of way about them all, but also wondering what can you do to change them at this time. Jupiter is minutes of arc away from retrograding back into Pisces, which will be exact on Friday the 28th at 1.09 a.m. Eastern Time, so by late Thursday night. This zero degrees Aries point that Jupiter is at right now is a really potent and powerful degree that literally starts the whole zodiac. We have the greater benefic, Jupiter, here, almost like he is taking in the scene so that when he passes back over this point in his direct motion, he knows what reinforcements aid and help to bring. That won't be for another month and a half, though. Jupiter stations direct at the end of November and then won't hit the zero degrees of Aries until the day before the winter solstice, which is really interesting to have the spring equinox point at zero degrees Aries conjoined by Jupiter on the winter solstice point of the year when the sun is at its lowest declination in the sky and we have the longest night of the year. It's like Jupiter is going to bring in major reinforcements, hope, and benefic fortitude when we most need it. Also, today, we have Mercury and Libra applying to a trine to Mars and Gemini. This brings up easy conversations and ease with which we can act and make rapid changes to our environment. I think this is a really positive aspect and one that will support some of the things we want to get done today. This aspect gives us smooth and hassle-free passage. Thieves will have an easy time doing their bidding. A little side note, I drew up a chart for the moment my husband called me about the truck breaking down 
and I could clearly see that the truck was in danger because of this aspect, Mercury trying Mars, being only a few degrees away and representing the truck being an easy target for thieves with malicious intent. Maybe I'll make a video about that chart because it's pretty interesting to look at in retrospect. Anyway, the moon will square Saturn today at 11.28 a.m. Eastern Time, and so this could represent an action that you decide to take that is serious. You've had a lot of time to think about things, and now it's time to make a move and commit to them. Make sure that the opportunity that you are committing to is bona fide and not a scam. With the moon having just traveled across the south node, there could be a feeling of desperation and wanting to take whatever opportunity crosses your path. Just make sure that you've vetted the people, the company, or the deal, and that it's real and not someone taking advantage of you at a vulnerable time. Mars is also about half a degree away from perfecting a quincunx to Pluto, but he won't because he is going to go retrograde before that aspect would become exact. I believe in traditional astrology, this is called refrenation. So it's a little bit like saying psych, which was a hugely popular slang term in the 90s. Almost like Mars, the god of war, is posturing and threatening some sort of attack, but then backs out at the last minute to rethink his strategy. So there could be something in your life that seems to be going on a certain trajectory and then suddenly changes course, or a person changes their mind and starts doing something else. Hmm. Let's move on to the card for the day. What is the guidance for today? 13. Death. On this card from the Motherpiece Tarot, we see a skeleton laying in the fetal position at the base of two birch trees. A venomous coral snake encircles the skeleton as it sheds its own skin. One tree stands inside the circle made by the snake and the other one outside. Thirteen leaves have fallen on the forest floor. The death card is about change and letting go. Very fitting with the eclipse energy. The snake sheds its skin, watching itself go through the process of rebirth. The leaves have fallen off the tree, representing change, and the skeleton is literally representing death. This card is usually only signifying a metaphorical death and not a physical one, but the pain and grief caused by letting go of something inside can be just as intense as letting go of someone or something in the physical form. We are all transforming and changing, and it's a bit painful. The snake in the death card has found two birch trees to rub against and help facilitate the old skin releasing and falling off. We must use the gifts that the universe has provided to us to help facilitate our own changes. By accepting and acknowledging that we are going through a metamorphosis, we can embrace it and honor it and consciously open ourselves up to the process. This will allow us to lean into the change and eventually heal, revealing our new fresh skins. I feel like this card came up to remind us of everything we are all letting go of right now. Our world is changing, shedding its old skin, and a new world is emerging. This is happening in the greater collective and also in our personal lives. The second song that was in my head this morning is an original song by my niece, Sophia Raven Rose, called Hold Me. I have linked to her YouTube page below for your listening pleasure. I feel like these two songs, Break Away and Hold Me, are really representative of our feelings right now, wanting to change our destinies but feeling trapped by them and also wanting to be held by love while we go through it. Maybe we can all hold each other with love while we go through these changes. I hope this horoscope and card reading offer something insightful and useful for getting through this vulnerable time. Please let me know in the comments. I hope this is helpful. Until tomorrow, Astro Mommy. Today's horoscope was brought to you by Moon and Scorpio, Jupiter retrograde in Aries, Mercury trying Mars, Moon square Saturn, and Mars half a degree away from perfecting a quincunx to Pluto. Psych! <laughs> Quick links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter, including the lyrics to Breakaway. Today's card was pulled from the Motherpiece Round Tarot, Available on Amazon.